pick up this rangefinder. It's kind of funny, you come out here and hunt, and I uh, found a brand new Nikon rangefinder. I wonder whose that is, David Holder. But uh, we are back out in Wyoming, and uh, it's been a whirlwind. We went out to Montana last night, scouted elk at um, a place we'll be hunting next weekend. Saw a lot of nice elk. So we decided to get up at four. There's a nice buck out here I see right there. And um, back on a place that we got access to this year. Beautiful day, it's gonna get hot. Kurt and I are gonna get in the blind. I'm not gonna sit out here because we spooked all that antelope out of here, but they should come back. If not, we'll be back in here in the morning. So we're gonna get settled in and round two for Wyoming antelope. the world's fastest animal hunt I've ever been on. <laughs> that is awesome. That just made the trip worth it. We haven't been in here half an hour. I know it. And this guy came off the hill and came barreling in. And we're going to get him. I've got a cooler bag. We're going to get him taken care of. Get him in that cooler bag. And get back in here with Kurt. Because we're not going anywhere. These new trophy cooler bags. We got plenty of ice. We'll get him cleaned up. Get him in that bag. Get him cooled off. That was amazing. I'm shaking. I am too. And I, I 12 ringed him. Good. Shooting the kill zone broadhead. Um, that's my first animal, first uh, animal with my nitrum, my new nitrum 34 from Hoyt. Um, it's been a good year, man. I cannot complain. If I look like I'm happy. <laughs> happy birthday, JW. There's your birthday present right there, man. Animal backstraps. Boom. deal but look at that right there as JW would say there's something about finding your arrow the kill zone the deep six full metal jacket quick fletch veins look at that blood on there real tree baby but uh, oh it's filling up with water like I said we just set up this morning you could not ask for a better hunt um, I don't even know what to say. It just happened so fast, but he's up there. I'm going to grab him. I'm going to drag him down so we get him out of the way because Kurt has a tag. We got a whole day left, so we could have a double going here. 
So we're gonna, I'm gonna drag him around and uh, get him cleaned up, get some pictures, and uh, back in the blind. But boom. We still got antelope under the field, but we probably chased off 100, 120 antelope here. But it, like I said, it didn't take them long to come back. This antelope here is probably not my biggest, but he's my fastest and coolest hunt I've ever been on. And he's actually got some really good hooks to him and good paddles, and he's heavy, so no complaints. Back straps. What an awesome experience. The only thing that I wish was different is our good friend JW, it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, buddy, this is for you. And for my daughter Shelby, who is playing volleyball. We were out here a couple weeks ago. She shot a beautiful animal, and so did JW. Um, my brother's gonna be coming back out here, I'm sure, but it's just been a, another awesome year. A bunch of friends and family having fun, and that's what it's all about. That is why this goes the way it does. It's not because we are superstar hunters or anything like that. We are average guys who just love to hunt. And we work hard at it, and this is the rewards. And even if you don't kill something like this, I'm with my best friend on a beautiful day on Wyoming. What more can you ask? We're getting this guy back up. supposed to. The biggest one came in straight on to us. He's 23 yards. It was marginal. Uh, we we're just debating. I mean, we're not going to sit out here and be fussy. We don't have a lot of time, but he didn't give me a great shot. Straight on was it. Until he made up his mind, he turned around and bucked out of here pretty quick. But there's probably six, eight of them in there. They're still milling around down here a little bit, but... Uh, we're gonna have to wait a little longer, I guess, now. They're scared of their own shadow a little bit. Dead on it. Well, we made it halfway through the morning. We talked about 
uh, we're going to have to move this blind, so this is going to be kind of like a cartoon. We can't just pick it up and tippy-toe. We put all the stuff outside the blind. I'm going to move the camera, get everything down. The animal brought on the other side of this berm, so we should be able to sneak down there. The water, the water hole is filling up, and they're drinking out at more of 30 to 40 yards instead of 20 to 25. Yeah. So we're going to scoot it ahead about 10 yards. yards set it back down and hopefully get closer. I mean, we, we just gotta get a little closer. I don't want to take that chance. And we got five, to... six hours left. I'll get up there, get the camera set up, so I'm gonna catch you trying to tiptoe your shine. Yeah, we just, we gotta stay low, let's stay quiet. Breaking <laughs> double. Wow. Hey, way to let down like Shelby. <laughs> My arm crashed against the back of the wall here. Threw me off. This, this couldn't have worked out any better because we moved the blind today 10 yards closer because the water hole was filling up. They've been drinking at about 30, 35. And it was breezy, but the wind let down. There's goats all around us right now, but right now we are done. We are filled up. Tag that tagged out in Wyoming, man, 2015. It was good. Um, struggled a little bit getting the shot off, but uh, it worked good. The kill zone dumped him. I could see the blood pumping off the backside. He didn't go very far. He's laying up on the hill about 100 yards away. Well, other than it being rinsed off in the water, we obviously know it did its job. Kill zone injection arrow, that's two in one day. That don't happen to us very often, but uh, put a little extra effort into it. We had a little luck on our side, but uh, let's go find this critter. That's for darn sure. Well, he is. He's at, you know, I didn't have much time to look at him. He came in, we saw him back there a ways. Um, there was a few other ones back there with him, but uh, like I said, John and I did this. A quick road trip, not a lot of time. We weren't going to be overly fussy, but uh, 
you know, we both shot pretty darn nice goats today. Had a great time. Spent some time in Montana scouting elk last night. Did a quick road trip here this morning. John had his down within minutes of getting in the blind. Here we are late afternoon, number two on the ground. Like John mentioned earlier, JW, it's your birthday. This one's for you, buddy. We had a great day. Absolutely great day. Big thanks goes out to Jeff. Again, always giving us a lending hand. The rest of the crew, John behind the camera like always. Shelby, Russ, myself, and JW. We had a heck of a go this year.